Hello students, today we are going to learn about COCOMO model. Now, COCOMO model is, uh, stands for constructive cost model. Now, what does that mean? Now, as we know that software development goes through different phases, right? We have, we, de we have to develop a quality product and for that we go through different mod different phases, right? The software goes through different phases. Now, before that, the first step is the feasibility study that we take that takes place. Now, in feasibility study, we make sure that uh, is uh, will will we be able to uh, build the product or not? are we uh, techni technically strong enough to build that product are we financially strong enough to build that product right so all this feasibility studies goes through in that phase now kokomo model makes sure that it is a regression model based on the number of lines of codes that we have in our uh, in our product right suppose we are building an application now we see that how much lines of codes do we have in that in those uh, development right so in this what happens is it the cost estimation is done here for the software projects and it is often used as a process of rely reliability uh, reliability reliably predicting the various parameters associated with the making of the project right which includes the size of the project the effort of the project the cost the time and the quality of the product right so all these things are handled by the kokomo model it gives us an estimate of what will be the size of the product how much efforts will be required for building this product efforts in the sense how much people will be required in each team we will have a development team we will have a testing team we will have a maintenance team so how many people how much efforts will be required to build the product will be uh, estimated by the coco model next we have the cost cost is a very important factor which plays a important role in the uh, software development right so it, uh, the cost estimation will be also done by the kokomo model right next we have time so we cannot take one product and we built it for our lifetime right we have to make sure that there is a time limit we have a set time limit for which we will be building that product right so the time estimation will be also done here and the quality quality is a very important factor right we have to make sure that we are giving away a quality product to our client and make sure that our product is the best and it is very user friendly and the best quality right so all these factors will be accessed by the Pokemon model and they will estimate the, and they will give an estimate of all these factors and make sure that we built a product we built a product which will be of the best quality right moving on the kokomo model basics right so the key parameters which define the quality of any software product right which uh, which uh, which are also an outcome of the kokomo are primarily effort and the schedule right so the these are the key parameters right now when we talk about the quality of any software product what we see we see how much efforts someone has put and what was the schedule schedule means how much time did they, they, they complete the job and what was the and how much uh, time and money was used for building the product right now when we talk about efforts effort is basically the amount of labor that will be required to complete a task it is measured in uh, the measured in person month units right so the effort and schedule these are the two main parameters or we can say the key parameters which define the quality of a software product right so in kokomo model these two uh, uh, these two primarily uh, these two parameters are set so that we build a very uh, quality product and a good product now what are the factors that affect our estimation right now as we discussed earlier that the size of the product the time the cost quality all these estimations will be done by our model right now what will be the factors that will be affecting our model now there are se several factors that affect a pro project estimation right now which will include the size the complexity and the development environment obviously size plays a very important role if we have a big scale uh, product project now how can we estimate the uh, 
labor and how much time it will require beforehand right if it is a small product small project we can do that in hand beforehand but if it is a big project it will be very difficult for us the model to estimate the uh, size right and the complexity and the development environment if it is a big scale project right now we have to understand that these factors are very crucial for accurate estimation right these are the factors that may affect our estimation and we have to make sure that all these factors uh, are checked properly and we make a quality product now what will be the when we talk about the kokomo model we, as we are talking about the estimation and how it is helping us build a quality product we have to make sure that we use best best of best things to build a product which will make our clients happy right now when we are talking about best practices we we talk about updating the project parameters regularly right we have to make sure all the parameters are updated time to time so that there is no hampering with our the quality of the product right the, we have to make sure that the historical data means the past data we have to leverage that data right and involve domain expert in the estimation uh, process now as we build a project obviously we will have freshers also and we will have experienced people also so we have to make sure that we have experienced people which can predict things which, which can uh, who can analyze things beforehand and who can be a great asset for us to build a product which will be very uh, helpful for our clients right now why we should use kokomo model why it is important to use the model and why is it important to estimate all the factors beforehand right so uh, it pro uh, obviously the kokomo model helps us in a systematic way to estimate the cost and the effort of the software project right and it can uh, also estimate the cost and effort of the project at different stages of the development processes and it also helps in identifying the factors that have the greatest impact of the cost and the effort of the software project obviously for that we have to use this kokomo model so that we can build a project that will be uh, required by our client right now here we have to it is can also be used to uh, used to develop evaluate the feasibility of the software project right by estimating the cost and the effort required to complete it right as in the starting i uh, explained that how feasibility to check how is our product feasible or not it is very important to check that right so kokomo models helps us to check that if we are able, we will be able to feasibly and if is our company feasible to develop a product that will help us grow and help the client also with the product right that's all students thank you so much bye